What's up everyone, it's Joey, Blush Response, and today we're checking out the Arturia Drum Brew Impact. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the Drum Brew Impact here. This thing is really cool. I've been using it for a hot second and I dig the vibe, I dig the sound. I think it's a special machine, especially for the price point. What have you got? So you've got eight different drum voices, uh, kick snares, two snares, tom, cowbell cymbal, closed hat, open hat, and an FM drum. Like, good range of sounds. You have master distortion. You have cool sequencer features. You have drive and whatever else. Overall, I think it's well packaged, especially for the price, and I've been making cool shit with it. Let's get going on it. Go to step mode, press play, whoa bam. Here's our kick. As you can see, it's kind of an 808 style kick. Good range of pitch. You can shift command, put on an overdrive. Gets a little punchy. I dig that sound. Two kind of different snares. For different vibes with the shift commands again. Let's record that in. Oh, yeah. What I like is that you can do step and accents, and it doesn't depending on how hard you hit it. Now, let's just get a pattern going. Different sounds. Let's try the FM drum. Now I've got everything muted but the FM drum. As you can see, it's like analog FM. To me, it sounds exactly like the Mini Brute. Uh, so clearly it's based on the circuit. I mean, it's in the name Drum Brute, and uh, I, I think that's a good thing because I like the sound of the Mini Brute. Uh, I haven't tried the Matrix Brute or Poly Brute, but people rave about them, and I can understand why, because Arturia makes great sounding shit. On mute. Yeah. The mute system is, you know, pretty standard. So let's let's try with the overdrive. And you can see it's getting really destructive really fast. And I like that overdrive sound. I used it on a track the other day and I was like, that's the shit right there. It just made it all work out. So if you're digging these analog sounds, uh, the good thing is, is that there's individual outs, which I think is, it's the only drum machine in this price class that has individual outs. And I think that's really important and really special because if you have a modular or something else, you could process them separately, even just mix them separately. And that is so valuable sometimes. I, I see a lot of value in sending this through different uh, effects, pedals, modules, whatever. Now, probably the coolest feature in the sequencer is the random. You turn it up and you're just gonna get forever generating, forever generating drum patterns, which is awesome. Especially if you're doing right core. And you can even do shit like this. Step repeat. And get nuts. If you go to shift commands, you can change that to a roller. You 
You can also do polyrhythms. Slow it down again. Shift, polyrhythm that. Ooh. It's a nasty beat. Last step right here. We'll do odd, odd number. We'll just mute. You can see what I mean. Turn on the decay there. So yeah, I love random because you can make it apply to only one track or all tracks. So just turn it up. Now the kick is random, but nothing else is. I wish this generative fe feature was in any, in every drum machine. It's dope. Turn it off. Bring up the tempo. Boom. Rhythmic noise. A little too much going on here. Turn random down. You gotta watch your levels, of course. <laughs> FM drum. Yeah. This is dope. It gets that kind of like container-ish vibe. Early rhythmic noise, but more analog. I'm vibing. No distortion. Ugh. You can do song mode and all that, but who the fuck needs that? I don't do that shit. Save your patterns, of course. Bring that distortion back, because frankly, we need it. Got a little bass line from the FM drum. And you see, if I had individuals going, I'd record them all separately, mix them separately, send the FM drum through effects, do bass, whatever. We're just using this machine for this review. Bring it up, bring it up. What's the max BPM? See what we can do with 300 BPM. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Shift. Turn off that roller. Ooh. Granular. That's fun. That's fun. Uh. Oh. Fuck yeah. Fucking feel the pain. Boom. If this was on a huge PA, you'd be ripping people's brains apart. <laughs> Look what I just found. I just think it's fun. These features are great. Slow as possible tempo. Turn up all the decays. Oh, we haven't even tried the toms yet. Let's get fucked up, guys. I'm just gonna put a trigger on every hit for every drum. See what happens.
solo the tom. Oh, we're not hearing the tom. Hmm. Oh, when I put down tom triggers, excuse me. That's the song. Okay, I put some decay in that. Put all the shift things. Now that we got all this going, what the fuck? Yeah. Come on! I wanna break it! Am I gonna break it? Just make sure there's a case on everything. Turn up random. It's fucking tripped up. That's like, you use that as like an organic bed track drone thing with some weird spaced out. <laughs> We're only here to make terrible sounds. Fucking smoking this shit. Oh. Put the metronome on. Yeah. <laughs> this thing rules. It's fun. Random all the way up with every trigger I activate on every drum. Let's start taking some out. Just fuck with things until cool things happen. That's all you gotta do. Just stop thinking. Just do. Anyway. I think you get the idea. New pattern from scratch. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, now random. Oh. 
That, that instant beat remixing is so fucking sick. Oh god, I wish that was in more machines. Yes! Tight! Think you get the idea? It's dope! Smoking. Just put some shit on top. So bring it. Want to break it again? Drum Brute Impact. So that was really dope. I think the Drum Brute Impact is super fun and especially for the price, it's kind of a no brainer. If you're looking at competitors like the Model Cycles or other things, just keep in mind that the Drum Brute Impact has that punchy ass raw analog sound and it does it really well and it has individual outs and the advanced sequencer randomization feature, which to me is kind of the whole like the thing that takes it to the next level and I wish more devices had that. So it's really cool. Samples of it are gonna be on my Patreon for you to download and use in your productions. And if you wanna buy one, there's gonna be affiliate links in the video description and pinned comment where you can do so. If you buy it or anything at all through those links, I get a kickback, which would be a great help to me. Check out my Patreon. I would love if you supported me there too. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe here and I'll see you next time. Peace out.